In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to animate a rabbit playing with rattles in Adobe After Effects. We'll animate the character within the duration of 16 frames, and our project frame rate is 24 frames per second. Let's start with the body first. Separate the body layer's position dimensions. Then keyframe the body's position, scale and rotation. We'll keyframe the Y position first and foremost to create an up and down movement. Then keyframe the X position to make the body move backward and forward. The body is moving back and forth a little too much. Let's reduce the X position keyframe's amplitude to slow it down. We also need to make the body rotate by keyframing its rotation. Then add some subtle squash and stretch to the body by keyframing its scale. After having the main body's movement, we'll continue with the head or face. We'll animate the character's face by keyframing its scale and rotation. Copy the scale keyframes of the body to the face. The face is going to move in the opposite direction to the body. So when the body goes forward, the face will rotate backward and vice versa. For the tail, we'll make it move up and down by copying the body's Y position. Before pasting them onto the tail, notice that the Y position's initial value is 199. After pasting the body's Y position keyframes to the tail, 
we'll have to bring it back to the initial value, 199. Then add loop and expression to the Y position to loop our animation, and offset the tail so it doesn't move at the same time as the body. Next, we'll animate the right arm by keyframing its rotation, making it rotate up and down with the body's movement. Then copy the right arm's rotation keyframes to the right rattle, but reduce their amplitude. Add loop and expression. and offset the right arm and right rattle. Let's check our animation, and use the graph editor to smooth out the animation if needed. After animating the right arm and rattle, we'll copy their keyframes to the left arm and rattle. Then offset the left arm and rattle. The right rattle is currently covering the right eye. Let's make some adjustments to the right arm and rattle's rotation keyframe so that the right rattle stays under the eye. To animate the right ear, we'll keyframe its rotation.
add loop in expression. Offset the right ear. Then use the CC Bended effect to the ear to create a smooth swinging effect. Adjust the start and end position values like this, making sure that the ear is not cut off when it's moving. Then keyframe the bend property. Add the loop in expression and offset the bend properties keyframes. And the right ear's motion is looking more natural with a little swinging effect. After we finish animating the right ear, we'll just need to copy the right ear's rotation keyframes and bend it effect to the left ear. Then adjust the start and end because the left ear stays at a different position and we have to make sure that it's not cut off when the bended effect is applied. Let's offset the right ear's keyframe so that both ears don't move at the exact same time. Let's add some animated elements such as sparkles and burst lines to our animation to make it more eye-catching. First, we'll adjust the anchor point of all sparkles and burst lines. To animate the sparkles and circles, we'll keyframe their scale and opacity, making them pop up, then disappear quickly. It's a time-consuming and tedious task, but we just need to animate a sparkle and a couple of burst lines, then copy and paste their keyframes to other sparkles and lines. To animate burst lines, we'll add trim paths to the lines. Then keyframe the trim path start and end. We'll make them go from 0 to 100%. Then offset the start to make the lines burst out.
the burst lines are moving in the wrong direction, so we'll need to reverse them by changing the path's direction like this. Then copy these burst lines keyframes to other lines. Offset animated elements. You can create as many animated elements as you want to make the animation more lively. Simply pre-comp all animated element layers. Make two copies. Then offset this composition and drag these two like this. The animated elements should look the same at the starting and ending, and we will have a perfect loop. To animate the shadow, we'll copy the body scale keyframes to the shadow. Then increase keyframes amplitude so that the shadow animation can be more noticeable. And we've finished our animation. The project files of this tutorial are available to download on our After Effects Project Files library. For more information about our Project Files library, please check the link in the description section below. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.